Hello everybody, I tried this video in English. Let's start it! Hi guys, I wanna try to make this video in English. Um, and I make a comparison of an Anatolian Turk is this side and this side is an Anatolian Kurt. Uh, both men have the same uh, Hubler group. They have the Q1B M378. And interesting is that's why I make this video. You couldn't define a man or a woman from her or the his haplogroup because that's not possible. Both are living in Anatolia, but the Q haplogroup definite not your ethnicity. That's very important because a lot of people thought that the haplogroups define your ethnicity. That's not correct because this haplogroup is so old and in thousands of years human beings are traveling to different places from Asia to Europe, from Europe to Asia back to Africa to America and so on. Okay, now if you make a comparison about, uh, about these two men, you saw this left side is the Turkish Anatolia from Mersifon and the right one is a um, Kurdish and Anatolia Kurd from Chorum. They are not far away, about 100 kilometers. The places both have the same haplogroup. I show you it's this one. Um, one, one moment. So, uh, this is the site of Discovery Family Tree DNA, and it's the muta mutation in Afghanistan about. You know, it's about 4,000 years before Christi. 4,000 years. Uh, imagine how this man travel around the world in about in, in 6,000 years. It's so old. This haplogroup is so old. You couldn't define if it's a Turkish or Kurdish haplogroup. It's only showing your oldest father ancestor. Um, ancestor and he, the, the mutation was happened in Afghanistan about 6,000 years ago, a very long time. And don't, also I think it's not possible to define your ethnicity from the haplogroup. Let's look back to the get match results. So, what's similar between these both men? Similar is the Caucasian part, it's almost the same, both about. 38 uh, percent and that's it's the first different thing uh, the Kurt man has about 24 percent Gedrosia it's the old uranic part the Turkish man had about 15 uh, 79 Atlantic Mediterranean this is the oldest Anatolian DNA Yes, it's called Atlantic Mediterranean because that, that was uh, that is the part of the first Anatolian farmers in Europe. So let's go on. The next next part, Kurdish man, Southwest Asian, 14.4. Uh, this part is belongs to the uh, Arabian part, Oriental part. It's uh, almost more than at the Anatolian Turk. He is about 11 percent, only three to five three to five different yes and next part north european uh, almost the same uh, 11 to 9.6 the atlantic mediterranean part from the kurdish people is um, smaller um it's uh, it's uh, amazing because uh, this is an old anatolian part but kurds have not a big part of them i thought they have had uh, have more than uh, Turks, but it's so you can see it. And next part. Now, 
East Asian. This part belongs to the East Asia, like China, Japan, and um, this is not the next part from the Kurdish man. He has South Asian. This is um, India. This part is uh, almost um, very present by Kurdish people. The next part from the Turk is Siberia, three point, Siberian three point uh, three percent. Yes, uh, the Kurdish people all uh, man has always this. Yeah, also one point twenty five, and then. Northwest African is uh, not appearing at the Kurdish man, but one person at the Turkish man. South Asian 1.33. And uh, yes, East Asian a very small part. Southeast Asian with one, 162. And the Turkish man, no, this part is missing. He's only East Asian and Siberian. The Kurdish man have Siberian. And Southeast Asian and the, almost nothing is okay. Sub-Saharan, the Turkish man has a little more. But you see, both are living in Anatolia. Both are coming from the same region. Almost 100 kilometers uh, different to each other. But both at the same haplogroup, but the ethnicity is different. They have similar parts but our very parts are not similar okay bye bye um more one moment one moment the last picture you can see the q haplogroup group is almost in east europe little bit in spain and morocco um, and the hotspots the hotspots are on the crim uh, turkmenistan here in Iraq, always in Egypt, this is Qatar, and North India, this is uh, Pakistan, and, um, Pakistan and South India. So, bye bye, I hope you enjoy it, excuse me for my English, but I tried in English. Ciao, ciao, bye bye.